NBA players make a lot of money. Some players are making nearly $50 million a year as part of their NBA salary, which doesn't even include their money from endorsements and other forms of income. Even the players at the bottom of the league in terms of salary are still getting paid millions. Today, I'm taking you from these bottom salaries all the way up to $48 million, ranking the best NBA player from each salary by million. For example, at $5 million, a player has to make between $4.5 and $5.5 million to qualify for that spot. All this data comes from HoopsHype.com, so shout out to them. Comment below any NBA contracts you know about, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The best player in the NBA making under $1 million is Anthony Lamb of the Golden State Warriors. Lamb is playing in his third NBA season and it's averaging 7.5 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists while also knocking down 40% of his threes. You can't ask for much more from a player making under a million in the NBA. The best player making $1 million a season is Max Christie of the Los Angeles Lakers. Christie has provided some solid defense off the bench in the 15 minutes a game he gets. He also knocks down 42% of his threes on low volume. Another player who I considered for this spot was Jaden Hardy of the Dallas Mavericks. This next player may be the best bargain in the NBA and he goes by the name of Desmond Bain who is making just $2 million. Bain is playing at a near all-star level this season, putting up over 21 points, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds a game on a Grizzlies team that is one of the best records in the West. It is still his rookie contract, but to have this kind of production at this money in the NBA is amazing. Another notable player making $2 million is Bull Bull. At $3 million annually, Tyrese Maxey is the best player. Maxey is having his best season to date. In his third season with the 76ers, he's averaging 21 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds, and a steal a game. He's also knocking down 40% of his threes on 6.5 attempts a game. The player at $3 million who comes closest to Maxey is Alperin Sangoon of the Houston Rockets. At $4 million a season, Tyrese Halliburton also has a case for best bargain in the league despite still being on his rookie contract. Halliburton has put up 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 10 assists a game while adding nearly 2 steals as well. Who do you think won the Halliburton Sabonis trade with the Pacers and Kings? Other notable players making $4 million are Jordan Poole and Spurs youngsters Kelvin Johnson and Devin Vassell. At $5 million, we have Franz Wagner of the Orlando Magic. Wagner has taken a significant leap in his sophomore season and is now up to 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 3.5 assists a game while shooting 49% from the field and nearly 37% from 3. He is definitely one of the most underrated players in the league and should play a big part in the Magic's future. Another notable player making $5 million is Dante DiVincenzo. At $6 million, the best player is Tyler Hero. This season, Hero has moved into the starting lineup and has been great for the Heat. He's averaging 20 points, 6 rebounds, and 4.5 and assists a game, shooting 37% from 3 on over 8 attempts a game. He's also making 91.5% of his free throws. Other noteworthy players making $6 million this season are Josh Giddy and Cameron Johnson. Next up, we got rookie and potential 6th man of the year, Benedict Mathurin is the best player making $7 million. He came into his rookie season scorching hot. Although he has cooled off recently, Mathern is still putting up 17.5 points with 4 rebounds and an assist and a half a game. Another great rookie making 7 million is Jaden Ivey, who is also considered for this spot. For 8 million, we have second year stud Evan Mobley. Mobley should be getting all defensive consideration again this season as his defense has been incredible. He's also averaging 15 points, 9 rebounds, and nearly 3 assists while also putting up a block and a half a game. There are many other notable players at 8 million, including Scotty Barnes, Keegan Murray, Dan. Anthony Melton and Seth Curry. At 9 million, we have another Cavalier in Darius Garland. This choice was really close between him and LaMelo Ball, but I decided to give Garland the edge here. For the Cavs, DG has posted 22 points, 8 assists, 3 rebounds, and nearly a steal and a half a game to help Cleveland sit near the top of the East. As I mentioned before, LaMelo was another notable player making 9 million and also shout out to Nicholas Claxton. We now creep into the double digit million starting off with DeAndre Hunter at $10 million a season. For the Hawks, Hunter has averaged over 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist. The other players I considered for the spot were Alec Burks, Larry Nance, Jay Crowder, and PJ Tucker. At 11 million, the best player is Anthony Edwards. He has been so consistent all season for the Timberwolves, averaging career highs in points, rebounds, and assists at 25, 6, and 4.5. And He's also averaging nearly 2 steals a game. His shooting has improved as well as it is up to 37% on 7.5 attempts a game. Other notable players making 11 million are Paolo Bancaro, Robert Williams, and Cade Cunningham. At 12 million, we have a player on the last year of his rookie deal and that is John Morant. Morant made his second straight all-star game averaging some crazy numbers. This season, he's put up 27 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds a game on a Grizzlies team that is right near the top of the West. Other players making 12 million include 3 and D studs Josh Richardson and Dorian Finney-Smith. For 13 million, this player is enjoying a breakout campaign that saw him gather a bit of all-star attention. This player is Kyle Kuzma. He should be in for a big payday this summer as he has averaged 22 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 4 assists a game for the Wizards. Jordan Clarkson was also in consideration for the spot. 
The best player making 14 million is Zion Williamson. Let's hope Zion can stay healthy because he was a big part of the Pelicans early season success. Zion is averaging 26 points, 7 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and a steal a game. His true shooting percentage is 65 and he was also named to a second All-Star game. Other players making 14 million include big men Christian Wood, Brooke Lopez, and Wendell Carter. For 15 million, we have lights out 3 point shooter, Kevin Herter. This season he's averaging 15 points and about 3 rebounds and 3 assists to go along with the steal. He's also making 41% of his threes on 7 attempts a game. Other players making 15 million include Jonas Valanciunas, Lou Dort, and Tyus Jones. At 16 million, we have another bargain with Lori Markkinen. Markkinen could win the Most Improved Player Award this season. He's averaged 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists a game while being one of the most efficient players in the league. He's shooting 52% from the field and 43% from 3 on 7 attempts a game, which is wild. The Jazz got a good one in that Donovan Mitchell trade. Yusuf Nurkic, Malik Beasley, and Marcus Morris are also making 16 million. For 17 million, we have another player on a new team, and he goes by the name of DeJounte Murray. Murray has averaged over 21 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, and a steal and a half a game for the Hawks. He's also shooting 37% from 3 on 5 and a half attempts a game. Defensive studs OG Ananobi and Marcus Smart are also making 17 million this season. At 18 million, Miles Turner is the best player. He's averaging a career high 17 and a half points to go along with 8 rebounds, 1 and a half assists, and 2 and a half blocks a game. He's also shooting 40% from 3 on 4 attempts a game. Gary Trent Jr., Steven Adams, and Harrison Barnes are also making 18 million. The best player making 19 million is a former teammate of Turner and now is a 3 time All Star. This player is DeMontis Sabonis. Sabonis has helped lead the Kings to one of the best records in the West this season averaging 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists a game on 67% true shooting. Clint Capella was the only other notable player at 19 million. Mikal Bridges is the best player making 20 million this season. Bridges is a top 10 defender in this league and is also averaging 17 points, 4.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and over a steal a game. He's also shooting 39% from 3 on 4.5 attempts a game. There were arguments to be had here with Jared Allen, Aaron Gordon, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Lonzo Ball also making 20 million, but I decided to stick with Bridges here. At 21 million, Jeremy Grant is the best player. He's having his best season to date with the Trailblazers, averaging 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists to go along with nearly a steal and a block each game. He's also been shooting 49% from the field and 42% from 3 on almost 6 attempts. Fred Van Vliet, Terry Rozier, and Buddy Heald are also making 21 million this season. For 22 million, Grant's teammate Anthony Simons is the best player. Simons broke out last season and has taken another step forward this season. He's up to nearly 22 points a game while putting up 3 rebounds and 4 assists a night. He makes 38% of his threes on over 9 attempts a game. The other notable player making 22 million is Nikola Vucevic. At 23 million, we have another 6 man of the year candidate who goes by the name of Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon has been very impressive for the Celtics this season, averaging 14.5 points, along with about 4 rebounds and 4 assists a game. He's made a whopping 45% of his threes on 4.5 attempts a game. He's also shot 48% from the field. Another notable player making 23 million is Mike Conley. For 24 million, Julius Randle is the best player. Randle just got named to his second All-Star game and has averaged 25 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 assists. The Knicks have also remained in the playoff race thanks in part to Randall's stellar play. Another noteworthy player making 24 million is John Collins. There are no players making 25 million this season, but at 26 million, the best and only player is Draymond Green. Green has remained a great defensive player for the Warriors and has averaged 8 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 7 assists with nearly a steal and a block a game. For 27 million, the best player is DeMar DeRozan of the Chicago Bulls. DeRozan was just named to his sixth All-Star game and has averaged 26 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists while remaining one of the most lethal mid-range shooters in all of basketball. The other notable player making 27 million is Al Horford. Moving along to 28 million, I have Jalen Brunson. When Brunson first signed this deal with the Knicks last offseason, everyone saw it as an overpay. Brunson is now proving everyone wrong and has shown this season why he is worth that kind of money. He has averaged 23 points, 6 assists, 3.5 rebounds, and a steal each game for the Knicks. Fellow point guards Chris Paul and Kyle Lowry are also making 28 million. At 29 million, the best player is Jalen Brown. Brown was just named to his second All Star game and is averaging a career high 27 points per game along with 7 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. The Celtics have had the best record in the NBA for the majority of the season thanks in large part to Brown as well as another player I'll be talking about very shortly. The other two players making $29 million are Jaron Jackson Jr. and Kevin Love. This mystery player from the Celtics is Jason Tatum and he is making $30 million this season. Tatum has cemented himself in MVP conversations this season averaging about 31 points, 9 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and a steal a game. He was also named an All-Star starter in what will now be his 4th straight All-Star game. Bam Adebayo, De'Aaron Fox, and Gordon Hayward are also making $30 30 million. 
At 31 million, Shea Gildas Alexander is the best player, though it could go either way with Donovan Mitchell. Shea is averaging 31 points, 5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, a steal and a half, and one block a game for a Thunder team that has accelerated their rebuild process this season. No one has been able to stop Shea on his way to the basket this season. Shea also was just named to his first All-Star game. Donovan Mitchell also could have been selected here as he was named an All-Star start in the East and is having his best season to date. Michael Porter Jr. and D'Angelo Russell are also making 31 million. Brandon Ingram is the best player making 32 million, though he has been out much of this season with an injury. B.I. has put up 20.5 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 5 assists a game for the Pelicans that desperately needed him back. Jamal Murray is another player making 32 million this season. At 33 million, the best player is two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. Jokic can do it all. This season, he could win his third straight MVP as he has averaged 25 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists to go along with a steal and a half a game. He also has a true shooting percentage of over 70% and as the Nuggets sitting comfortably at the top of the West. James Harden and CJ McCollum are also making $33 million. There are a lot of great NBA players making $34 million, but the best one is definitely Joel Embiid. Embiid has also put himself atop the MVP race this season with the 76ers having one of the best records in the East. Embiid is averaging a league leading 33.5 points to go along with 10 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, and a block and a half a game. Other notable players making $34 million include Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, Kristaps Porzingis, Drew Holiday, and Andrew Wiggins. At 35 million, we have another stud in Pascal Siakam. He is averaging 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. The only other player making 35 million is Ben Simmons. There are no players making 36 million, but at 37 million, we have Luka Doncic. Luka has been off the charts this season and it scares me thinking about what the Mavericks would be like without him. He's averaged 33.5 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists to go along with a steal and a half while keeping the Mavericks alive in the playoff race. Trey Young, Zach Levine, Kyrie Irving, and Kemba Walker are the only other players with salaries of $37 million this year. At $38 million, we have a few more fantastic NBA players and the best one is Anthony Davis. AD has been a beast for the Lakers this season when healthy, averaging 27 points, 12 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists. Defensively, he's put up 1.3 steals and 2 blocks a game. The Lakers definitely need him healthy if they want to make the playoffs. Other players making $38 million include Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Chris Middleton, and Rudy Gobert. No NBA player is making $39 million, but the best and only player at $40 million this season is Klay Thompson. Klay is slowly finding his former self as the season progresses and remains one of the top 3-point shooters in the league. This season, Klay has averaged 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists while making 39% of his threes on over 10 attempts a game. No player makes $41 million this season. We have another 2-time MVP making $42 million though. Giannis Antetokounmpo may be the best player in the NBA and he's worth every penny for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Greek Freak is averaging 32 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists a game while playing some great defense. He was just named an All-Star starter making this his 7th straight All-Star game. Damian Lillard, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard are also all making $42 million a season. The best and only player making $43 million a season is Bradley Beal. Beal signed a ginormous contract with the Wizards this past offseason that will be paying him about $250 million over the next 5 seasons. Beal is averaging 22 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 5 assists. The best and only two players making $44 million this season are Kevin Durant and LeBron James, and I'm going to call this one a tie. I'll leave it up to you guys. Comment down below who you think is better right now. KD was having a phenomenal season before he went down with an injury. He was still named to his 13th All-Star game nonetheless. Before his injury, Durant averaged 30 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 5.5 and assists while adding a block and a half a game. LeBron, on the other hand, hasn't been anything short of spectacular this season. LeBron has put up some incredible numbers this season, averaging 30 points, 8.5 rebounds, 7 assists, and a steal a game. The Lakers have needed him to play amazing to stay in games, and it can't be said enough how impressive it is that he is doing this at age 38. There are no players making 45 or 46 million this season, but there are two making 47 million, and the better one is Russell Westbrook. He's average 15 and a half points, six and a half rebounds, seven and a half assists, and a steal a game. The other player making 47 million is the player Westbrook was traded for a few years back and he goes by the name of John Wall. The highest paid player in the NBA right now is Steph Curry at 48 million. Steph deserves this title, especially considering what he's done for the Warriors this season, averaging 30 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 6.5 assists while continuing to shoot the lights out at 43% from deep on 11.5 attempts a game. It will be crazy to see what NBA contracts will amount to in the future, as players will begin to make more than 60 million very shortly. Comment below if you think there is a player you think is underpaid or overpaid, and be sure to like and subscribe.